Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. And yes, this is a completely different area than I've ever, I think, recorded from. Because this is Winterdale, which is one of Lady Hunter's locations. Oops. And she is hosting a building contest. So any type of ship for her new kingdom so that it has visitors. And the contest is going on till really it's pretty, pretty open-ended. She said a month. One time she said three months. Basically just until the kingdom's done. So the rules are just keep it reasonable anywhere in the water. And if you cut down trees in the area, just replant them and clean up as you go. So that's pretty simple. And then if the docks need to be bigger, she would make it, and she did. And different styles are great. And yes, please put a sign out. So pretty simple rules. And as you can see, there are already quite a few ships being built. Um, this one I don't think I've seen before. It's been a couple of days since I've been here, and I don't see a sign. I don't know who this is. Well, I hear a turtle, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's either Fawnies or the Tall Turtles. Oh, no, it's not on the ship, it's just over there. So maybe that wasn't a clue, after all. So, this one over here is Kinning Stands, I believe, yes. The Pilgrimage of Grace. Which sounds like it's got a portal downstairs. Really cool stuff here and down below got a hold and somewhere or other there's a oh here we go there's the portal that's neat Okay, cool. Little place for sailors to eat. That's not what I was trying to do. I've done a lot of that lately. This one over here is Magic Shrooms. Um, oh, that's right. Of course, some of us didn't pay attention to which who, who had the wind blowing which way, so we're just going with it's Winterdale. There's lots of wind going in all different directions. Uh, because, yeah. And by some of us, I mean me. <laughs> um, but whatever, that's fine. Where am I hearing a zombie from? Oh, it's got to be in here somewhere. Because if it was underwater, it would be a drowned. Okay, so I'm not going to go poking around below decks. I can look down from up here. Uh huh. All right, well, let's we'll leave you in peace, Mr. Zombie. Okay. So, the HHS, the HMS Shroomsdale. I'm not sure who this one is. Oh, Lady Vivian. Viking Longboat, aka Vor Hammerhand. 
Oh, nice. Oh, I love that. Very, very cool. So, and then this isn't really an official tour, so I'm almost certainly going to miss some things. Um, I'm also going to poke around. So this is Epona's, if you couldn't guess from the color scheme. Very Anope. She's got some chickens down below decks. Captain's cabin is very luxurious. There's a whole crow's nest going on up here. Complete with Scout, keeping an eye on things. I am so proud of myself for not falling off that ladder. <laughs> um, skipping that one for the moment. And then down here we have Papadons. Which I think he's still working on a bit. But I really love the way he used logs. Like I stuck with plain, with like planks. But he really made good use of logs, which really is how you would have built a ship out of wood back in the day. So I really like that. And I really like the effect. Create sort of a parquet floor effect. And then come down below decks into the hold. And a little room. Now I think the only other ones I've missed, well we're going to take a quick look at Fawnies actually. Um, because Fawnie, of course, did one that is turtle themed, which I should have remembered. Or is a turtle, it's not just turtle themed. Come on. There we go. And has a glass bottom. So you can see whatever happens to be swimming by under here, which I think is just so cool. And what swimming by could, of course, be a turtle, among other possibilities. There we go. There's cute like. I wonder if he's going to build a ship over here. That would be cool. I hope more people build ships because I love the variety that I'm seeing. So this is my ship over here, which yeah, I, I Magic Shrooms was already building and I didn't pay attention to the fact that the wind was going this way with his sails. So my sail is going that way. Turbulent winds, that's, that's what we're going with. <laughs> um, so I was really intimidated by the prospect of, is that a dolphin? Hi there, dolphin. Come on back up. I, I want to come over and swim with you. Not something I actually recommend doing in the wild because, you know, it's their home. We're invading if we do that. But here, where it's all virtual, hello. Plus, we've got a conduit so I can stay under as long as the dolphin can. Where's the rest of your pod? Okay.
Anyway, I was very intimidated by the prospect, so I went and found a tutorial, which I will try to remember to link in the description box below, for how to build a houseboat that I decided I really liked the look of, and it looked fairly straightforward. Um, and one thing that actually in some ways made it easier, it was definitely easier once we had a conduit, <laughs> was um, that it started by building it out right on the water surface and then adding the um, underside of it, which by the time I got around to doing the underside, yay, it was, um, we had the conduit. So the hardest part was definitely the sail. And I'm still not entirely happy with it, but yeah. And despite the fact, and the fact, and here's the reason why I didn't um, record the build, I was pretty much placing a block, going AFK, watching the video, placing another block, going AFK clicking over to YouTube, watching what goes next, I still managed to make it so you can't walk around the cabin. So I'm one block off in this direction. Um, I, I am not sufficiently motivated to do anything about that, unfortunately. But, oh yeah, somebody had left bricks in the, and I don't know if it was me, I don't remember that I would have been cooking up clay here, but. Um, I have said people can, you know, make use of the bed in here, make use of the stove, um, and you know, there's tons of chests because there would be, but they don't really have much of anything in them. Um, you know, an armor stand because you got to have somewhere to put your clothes, and some artwork. Just a little of this, a little of that. Some more storage up there for, you know, absolutely nothing whatsoever. And then the back of the boat, which you can only get to through the cabin. Because I can't count, apparently. And more storage. Because, you know, again, on a smallish boat like this, you would be making use of storage space wherever possible. The original build had fence posts here, um, but I wanted to have light sources as much as possible to avoid having torches all over the place, because I normally have torches all over the place, and I thought it would be nice to do something a little different. So I switched out the fence posts for end rods, so that would all be lit up, and then made use of some sea lanterns. Uh, something under here is a light source, I think. There we go. And then another one there. And a couple in behind the sail. And now these little chests actually do have stuff in them because I figured, you know, you would keep some food handy and anybody who's working on something nearby, although it looks like all the nearby boats are pretty much finished at this point, um, anybody who is working in the area who needs some food is more than welcome to come have some, some cod or some oops, salmon or kelp. Which, actually, why don't I go back there and get some more kelp and dry that up. Because kelp grows back nice and quickly. So, and the conduit means we can... Okay, get away from that guy. Conduit's also supposed to protect you from drowned, so 
Don't know why he's there. I've only run into one or two. I'm not entirely sure where the conduit is, otherwise I'd lure him over there so that uh, I could watch it zap him. Where'd he go? Nope, he's still there. Oh, there he is. Goodbye, Mr. Drowned. Oh, I love that Shrooms actually did a whole um, anchor. I was thinking about whether I should do something along those lines as well. all this kelp floating around. Should be around here somewhere. over there. Let's just go ahead and pick some up. Oh, am I full? Let's get rid of those seeds. I don't need them. I'd rather pick up the kelp. Uh, there is nothing else I'm willing to throw away, so I guess we'll stick with that mini kelp and come in here, cook them up. I can add that to the food supply out there. So now I've got our little stove cooking away. You can see the smoke coming out up top. Uh huh. And that's about it. So that's it for now. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.